Sweet. Let's find my shit. Take. Take food. Scout ship settings. Get out of here. I apologize if I'm being rude, but I have to ask. You're not Amanoch the Empyrean, are you? Of course I'm not. What would even make you ask such a thing? A shop in Isolt was selling Amanoch figurines that looked just like you. Oh, that. I distinctly remember whispering to the shopkeeper in his sleep, telling him not to sell those things. You showing up in his dreams probably only convinced him you were the real deal! You should sue for his use of your likeness and get proper compensation from that shopkeeper! Forget it. It's no concern. Yeah, you're right. It's not like they'd ever sell anyway. Oh, you think a figurine of mine wouldn't sell? You got this whole somber ennui thing going on. A figurine needs to be cute, like me. Then how about I turn you into a product? Me? Really? Oh yes. I'll have you stuffed and mounted. But since it'd be a unique piece, I'd have to price it a bit higher. M mounted? No, no, count me out! Oh, you're no fun. Now, what was it we were talking about? Whether or not you are the Empyrean Amenoch. Ah, yes, that's right. I'm no Empyrean, I'm just a simple girl. <sighs> it would be hard for anyone to worship an Empyrean like me, right? That's true. <clears throat> oh, uh, I mean, it just seems like you're the type who can see through anything, so... Perhaps an Empyrean seems less intimidating from a certain point of view. You're saying I'm scarier than an Empyrean? Not scarier, exactly. Just more of a savvy sort of woman. That's not a bad answer, but it won't get you out of the doghouse. Uh... Haria. You're a cat. Isn't that the village with that demon that Oscar and Teresa were talking about? I think it might be. We should remain on our guard. Definitely gonna buy some more gels when I get there. Ooh, super powerful demon. Super powerful demon. I wanna go fight it. I wanna go fight it. Nope, we ain't going this way. We're going to the super powerful demon. Mr. Birdie? Oh no, it's like a. Ooh, it's a baby! Nice! Get him! Blades of wind, Ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try! Perfect mayhem! Oh. Oh. That's cool. That 
was a considerably powerful enemy. Ooh, cat souls. Didn't realize I could move who was being replaced. I mean, simple, makes sense, but I just didn't realize I could do it. That's Haria Village. To the inn! One and all! Gonna hit up that inn. gels right um so i made gels using the giant cacao beans only found here on this island it gave them a nice bitter chocolate taste but people complained that they weren't avant-garde enough Ugh, chocolate flavored gels how prosaic bah this got me fuming so i caught some maiden bonita fish you find around here ground them up and made some gels with them you put fish into chocolate gels well, people do braise meat with chocolate. Chocolate and fish may go surprisingly well together. Exactly! It was the discovery of a century! The Bonito Flakes crunchiness and the gel's gumminess made for an exquisitely bad combo, which made it interesting. So if you made an innovative new type of gel, why are you so angry? That's exactly my problem! I outdid myself! Now I need to make my gel's world debut as amazing as they are! So I thought up the ultimate plan. And that is? I'll put my Chocanito gels in toilets all over the world. I'll call it the Great Chocanito Toilet Gambit. No one will go to the bathroom without finding my gels. I think everyone will have a lot of fun. So, genius, right? <laughs> yeah, it's weird, but I think it's funny too. Right? Uh, I knew that kids would get it. Who's a kid? But all the adults in my village called it silly and lowbrow. They forbade me from selling my Chaconito gels at all. Isn't that just horrible? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Aw, oh, man. Things used to be so much better. Mom would make me dinner, and all I had to do was goo 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 ga, and everyone would smile and praise me. I don't want to become the kind of grown-up who can't find any fun in looking for gels in toilets. This is the weirdest fucking story I've ever heard in an RPG. From what we heard in Isalt, demons are attacking villages and more people are growing upset with the Abbey. So I hadn't expected things in Haria Village to be so laid back. They might be on their best behavior because you're accompanied by an exorcist. Huh. I didn't know you could see the world in more than just black and white. The Abbey wouldn't entrust my responsibilities to someone who couldn't see beyond the surface. I have seen many things in my work. I've beheld both the light and the darkness in the world of men. Hmm. Despite that, no, because of that, I won't turn away from the wrongs that I encounter. Moreover, I have faith. I believe there is good in all our souls. The darkness, huh? Yes, like you. You're awfully direct. Damn. Anything cool?
Spend all your money! I really need to sit down and deal with all this stuff. I'm just too damn lazy. Not too lazy to get cat souls, though. Never too lazy for that. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and in this little teeny tiny short stream here. Next time we'll go talk to Grimoire, see what's up, find out what's in the book, the translations, go fight evil. Well, evil-er, because we're evil. So, alright. Next time on Crew.0. No. Thanks for watching. Crew.0 no out. Ugh. <sighs>